Experience Hillsboro, New Jersey and the good life within a community rich in history and one of the best places to live in America. In Hillsboro, you can go on an adventure, enjoy a sweet treat, a tasty lunch, a fabulous dinner, and see a great play. While in town, visit any of our specialty shops, absorb our picturesque scenery, or relax in any of our many parks. Join us for annual Hillsboro celebrations, fabulous parades, and the famous Hillsboro Rotary Fair. All part of the good life in Hillsboro, New Jersey. See more at hillsboroughbusiness.org. And welcome to the 2018 Hillsborough Township Memorial Day Parade. There's our, our man of the hour, Grand Marshal Tim Coyle. Welcome, Tim. Come on, Tim, just jump out. Officers Ted Lewis, Dave Brown, Rich Yock, and Chris Kennedy. Followed by Hillsborough Township Police. Coming up is the Hillsborough Township Marching Band. In the Hillsborough High School, the Pride of Hillsborough, the Raiders Marching Band. Thanks to the Hillsborough Township Marching Band. Oh, yeah, no time. Hillsborough Township Veterans, welcome. Right, and the Hillsborough Township Banner. Welcome, veterans. Uh, Round of applause for our Hills Hillsborough Township Veterans. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And as a reminder, you can see yourselves on television via the cable channel 29 and the Hillsborough Channel YouTube channel that Kaz puts together for us. Look for highlights coming up on Hillsboro the Good Life. It'll be coming out soon. Township veterans, we have some classic cars that are coming in. It looks like a 1939 Ford Deluxe that's coming up. It's dropping somebody off. Welcome, veterans. And it looks like a 1929 LaSalle coming down the road here. Horns sounding good. And I think we have a uh, 1931 Ford Model A coming down the road here. Welcome. <laughs> we 
Here comes our 39 Ford coming by, and followed by a 1940 Buick. What year? 46. 36. Okay, 36 Ford. Here comes the 19. The 1950 Red Oldsmobile. And coming up behind them is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Followed by a 1952 Ford. And a 19. 52 Chevrolet, blue with a white top. Coming up is a 1968 Ford Mustang GT convertible. That's nice. The Grand Marshal said he likes your convertible. I like that. Followed by a 1965 two-door Chevy Impala. Anything you can pop the top on, I like. Coming up is a 1967 Pontiac Catalina two-door. The 1966 green Ford Mustang. Followed by a 1966 Chevrolet Corvette. 427, and followed behind that is a 1965 Chevy, I'm sorry, Shelby Cobra. Coming up is a two-door 1976 Buick. Buick Electra Limited. And a 1988 Mercury Cougar. Followed by a 1993 Mazda Miata. Coming up now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Central Jersey Military Motor Pool. This group was founded in 2006. This is the Central Jersey Military Motor Pool, which is a non-profit historic military vehicle collector's organization. This group is an affiliate of the Military Vehicle Preservation Association. All vehicles are privately owned by club members who volunteer their time to display them at special events to help educate the public and to honor the veterans who served in our military nation. We welcome the Central Jersey Military Motor Pool to Hillsborough Township. Welcome. Central Jersey Military Motor Pool. Welcome. And passing on the road is the Robert Wood Johnson Rescue Squad as they go out. Coming up on my right, on Beekman Lane, we have the Robert Wood Johnson Rescue Squad. And we have our Township Fire Departments that are coming up. This is Hillsborough Fire Company number one, known as the Flagtown Fire Rescue. They are celebrating their 80th anniversary this year. We welcome them.
We welcome Hillsboro Fire Department. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. We feel welcome. Glad you could make it. Thank you so much. Coming up behind them is, is house number 37. And uh, Committeeman Delcor is here, welcome from the committee. Committeeman Burchette, welcome. Here comes Mayor Gloria McCauley. Welcome, Mayor. Welcome, Mayor. Coming down uh, Beacon Lane next is the Hillsborough Rescue Squad, the former emergency medical service provider here in Hillsborough Township. Again, as a reminder, you can see yourselves on television via the cable channel 29 and the Hillsborough Township YouTube channel. Plus, look for upcoming highlights on the Hillsborough The Good Life, which will be coming up soon. Stay tuned. And coming up is New Jersey State Assembly and Finally, thank you for coming to Hillsborough today. And coming up is the Hillsborough Rockettes and Rocket Senior Dance Club. As they make their way from Beekman Lane onto Veterans Way. We welcome the Hillsborough, New Jersey Rockettes and Rocket Senior Dance Group. Welcome. And here comes some more of the Hillsborough Township Rockets and Rockets as they come up at the Veterans Way here this morning with us. We welcome you. And coming up behind. 
the Hillsborough Democrats who are dedicated to serving the people of Hillsborough. Today they're pleased to honor our veterans who have served so courageously to protect all of our liberties. We welcome the Hillsborough Township Democrats. Welcome. Some more of the Hillsborough Township Rockettes and Rockets. Welcome. Got the beach umbrellas on, sunglasses on, and there's the Statue of Liberty. The Hillsborough Rockets and Rock Dance Group is celebrating their 25th year of performing in Hillsborough Township. The dancers rage in age from 60 to 100 years of age. This year they're celebrating Mary Buckshaw, who recently celebrated her 100th birthday. Happy birthday. And there's the Hillsborough Township Rotary Van, driven by Ken Jenka. Hi, Trisha, in the back. And the Lollipops, we welcome the Hillsborough Rotary Club. Experience Hillsborough, New Jersey, and the good life within a community rich in history and one of the best places to live in America. In Hillsboro, you can go on an adventure, enjoy a sweet treat, a tasty lunch, a fabulous dinner, and see a great play. While in town, visit any of our specialty shops, absorb our picturesque scenery, or relax in any of our many parks. Join us for annual Hillsboro celebrations, fabulous parades, and the famous Hillsboro Rotary Fair. All part of the good life in Hillsboro, New Jersey. See more at hillsboroughbusiness.org. Now comes the, the Hillsboro Democrats. They're dedicated to serving the people of Hillsboro. Today we're pleased to honor all of our veterans who have served so courageously to protect all of our liberties here. We welcome you. Air Force number one. Air Force number one. All right. <laughs> Got a veteran there. some of our youth groups coming up. We have recreation soccer coming up. Nearly 900 children from ages 3 to 18 play recreation soccer in the spring and fall seasons in Hillsborough. It's always a great sight to see the fields full of our children having fun playing soccer on Saturday mornings. So we welcome First World Soccer players. Welcome. All right. Let's see, we got a Jets fan out there. I like that. I like the green shirt. <laughs> I'm with you. I don't have my shirt on. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome. Hillsboro Recreation Soccer Club. Welcome, guys. Thanks for marching tonight. Got to carry one of them. Got a little tired, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, no, I got one. Griff, is this still soccer? We have some more Hillsboro Recreation Soccer players coming up. We appreciate you coming out and be with us today. Welcome, thanks for marching today.
Mark's shirts on. We're happy that you're here tonight. Just for our recreational soccer. Coming down. There you are. Welcome. There we go. Coming up down Veterans Way is our Hillsborough Softball. Our Recreation Softball League provides a fun way for girls of all ages to learn and improve their softball skills. The girls are having a great time and a great season so far, so we welcome you. Thank you for coming out here with us today. Welcome to the softball players. Coming down Veterans Way, now we have the Hillsborough Dukes. The Hillsborough Dukes have been providing youth football and cheerleading to the community for over 50 years. The Pee Wee football team ranked seven out of 140 teams in the region. Their competition cheerleading team placed second at the Nationals in Walt Disney World. The Dukes, along with the Pop Warner, encourage achievement scholastically through our Little Scholars program whose philosophy is academics and athletics go hand in hand. For the 2018 season, the Dukes are offering free registration for all flag level athletes. So we welcome the Hillsborough Dukes. Welcome. And here comes a, looks like they got a portable football field goal post up. We welcome the Hillsborough Dukes. Hello, everybody. Thanks for being with us today. There's Uncle Sam, is sure kind of hot this beer, man. Hey, guys. Welcome. Colin. Welcome, Carl. I see you're on time today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 So coming up down Veterans Way, we have our Hillsboro Baseball League. They're coming in. Hillsboro Baseball League. Is an independent nonprofit youth organization serving the community of Hillsborough since 1955. HBL offers both recreational and competitive baseball programs and are members of the Bay Roof Baseball League. So we welcome Hillsborough Baseball League. Welcome. And coming up, we have the Hillsborough Junior Raiders. Hillsborough Junior Raiders providing an array of youth sports for boys and girls for over 25 years in Hillsboro. Football, cheerleading, girls lacrosse, track and field, and now flag football for all ages. Welcome Hillsborough Junior Raiders. Welcome. Hey, I had driving that thing. Hi, Glenn. Welcome more of the Hillsborough Junior Raiders coming in on a Big army truck. Go Raiders! Welcome Raiders. Oh, looks like we got those for the cross coming in. Keep it on the right. Part of the Junior Raiders are about to check. Alright, welcome. And coming up, we have Girl Scouts, number 63317, Daisy Troop, 63317. 
honors and supports all of our veterans. So we welcome the Daisy trip with us here this morning. Welcome. Welcome and thanks for marching with us today. And behind them, we have Girl Scout Daisy Troop 62517. This is the second year that Daisy Troop 62517 is made up of 12 first graders in almost all of our elementary schools here in Hillsborough. So we welcome Troop 62517. Thanks for being here today. And coming up is Girl Scout Troop 61184. We are the Daisies and Girl Scout Troop 61184. And they thank all the veterans, men and women, for their service. So we welcome them here today. Thanks for being with us. And don't forget, you can see yourselves on TV via Cable Channel 29 and the Hillsborough Channel YouTube. Plus look for highlights on the Hillsborough The Good Life, which is coming up soon. And we have uh, Brownie Troop coming up, 60252. Brownie Troop 60252 has been together for over three years and is growing in friendship and service to the community. And they're looking forward to bridging this year to juniors. So we welcome them. Thanks for being with us. We have Girl Scout Troop 60126 and the Hillsborough Girl Scout Troop 60126. We welcome you and thank you for marching with us today. Hello. <laughs> we have uh, Hillsborough Girl Scout Troop 65052. Troop 65052 is an active Girl Scout troop. Some of, they're not here. Well, I'll read about them anyway. <laughs> Some of their activities this year include earning their flower entertainment. Thank you for marching. We have troop. 60243 with us and troop 60289 is with us today. Thank you very much for being with us. 60640 with us as well. Welcome and thank you for marching with us today. And we have uh, Hillsborough Cub Scout 9 is with us. Hillsborough Cub Scout Pack 89 out of Hillsborough Elementary. Come join us in kindergarten to fifth grade. So welcome. Now this group Part 75, Hillsboro High School's Virgo Raiders. Welcome and thank you for being with us today. Virgo Raiders! Hey. Coming up behind the Robo Raiders, we have the Triangle Dance Center. They're celebrating 16 years of dance education in Hillsboro. Triangle Dance students have performed at Great Adventure, Hershey Park, Dorney Park, TD Bank Bowl Park. And they're headed back to Disney World this June, so don't miss the classes that they have. Coming in from all over Somerset County, so we welcome the Dance Connection. Thanks for being with us this afternoon and this morning. Welcome, thanks for being with us. Dance connection. Playhouse in Hillsboro, Gigi's Playhouse Down Syndrome Achievement Center in Hillsboro opened its doors in January of 2015. Since that day, they have welcomed over 30, 300 families from throughout New Jersey and parts of Pennsylvania. We have made us part of our lives. It's the only location in New Jersey that have made a lifetime commitment to offer support to, from diagnosis through adulthood, adulthood to build confidence 
and to send a global message of acceptance for all while caring and changing the way the world sees Down Syndrome. So you welcome Gigi's Playhouse. For the men and women who died while serving in the U.S. military, we should never forget the sacrifices that they have made, so we welcome all day learning center. Welcome, thanks for being here with us today. You're only the boss. You can't call Ben. Every day. Every day. I call up now. He's the... Coming down the road are the Hillsboro Rocking Raiders, introducing the Hillsboro High School Rocking Raiders cheer team. This is an all-inclusive cheer squad, performs at high school football, basketball, soccer, and other sporting events. These dedicated students bring heart and spirit to our inclusive community and celebrate our military heroes as we celebrate our diversity. So we welcome you. Welcome. Welcome to Rocking Raiders. Coming down Veterans Way is ATA Legacy. Please welcome the ATA Legacy demo team of Hillsboro Township. Welcome to ATA Legacy. Experience Hillsboro, New Jersey and the good life within a community rich in history and one of the best places to live in America. In Hillsboro, you can go on an adventure, enjoy a sweet treat, a tasty lunch, a fabulous dinner, and see a great play. While in town, visit any of our specialty shops Absorb our picturesque scenery or relax in any of our many parks. Join us for annual Hillsboro celebrations, fabulous parades, and the famous Hillsboro Rotary Fair. All part of the good life in Hillsboro, New Jersey. See more at hillsboroughbusiness.org. That concludes everybody that's marching in the parade. I would ask that our dignitaries please come to the main stage, please. 2018 Hillsborough Township Memorial Day Parade. My name is Bob Wagner. I am the Director for the Parks, Recreation, and Social Services Department here at Hillsborough Township. I did want to introduce some of the members that we have up here on stage this morning with us. Assemblyman Roy Freeman is here. Our Grand Marshal Timothy Coyle. Our Mayor Gloria McCauley. Deputy Mayor Doug Thompson, Committeeman Carl Sirachi, Committeeman Frank Delcor, and Committeeman Greg Burchett. At this time, I invite Committeeman Carl Sirachi to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Carl? I'm I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Carl. Please notice to my right the Hillsborough High School Band as they play our national anthem.
Beautiful. Thank you, Jules, and all the students in the band for your wonderful performance as you do each and every year for us at this Memorial Day. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to bring up Pastor Tim Wolf, who will lead us in today's invocation. Pastor. Thank you. Will you bow your heads and pray with me? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in your hands are the living and the dead. We give you thanks for all those, our brothers and sisters, who have laid down their lives in service of our country. May they rest in peace. In the spirit of community, we pause today to remember lives lost and lives forever changed in war. May we also remember your great love for us and that there is no greater demonstration of love than to lay down one's life for another. Grant that our reflections today honor those who made that choice as well as the many more willing to do so if called upon. May the good work of seeking justice for the oppressed and peace for all mankind be rewarded with success, that their sacrifices shall not have been in vain. To honor their legacy, we commit ourselves to be more vigilant in our love for others, for our nation, and the cause of freedom, justice, and peace throughout the world. And may we never fail to remember the awesome cost of freedom which we enjoy. We pray in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Wolf. Next, I would like to invite Hillsborough Township Mayor Gloria McCauley to say a few words. Gloria? Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everyone, for being here on this hot day and staying to support our Grand Marshal and their commemorative program today for our veterans. I'm honored to be here speaking with you on such a significant day of commemoration, a day where we here in Hillsborough honor our service members and remember the sacrifices they have made for our freedom. Thank you to our veterans for leading us in this commemorative program again this year. As mayor, I had the great privilege this morning at our 13th annual Salute to Veterans Breakfast. It is again my privilege to extend a thank you to all of our veterans in Hillsborough that have served our great nation. And they are sitting here, most of them under the tent, so please, a round of applause for our veterans. We can never do enough to recognize you, but thank you for answering to the call of duty. Your leadership and selfless dedication have made our armed forces the most respected in the world. Please join me in another round of applause, and more importantly, thank you for your service. We owe all our veterans, past and present, a debt of gratitude for the sacrifices they made for our freedom. I ask that you keep those men and women who are also currently serving in your thoughts and pray for their safe return home. In America, there is no other observance more somber, no commemoration more significant than Memorial Day. It is today that we honor and mourn those service men and women who did not return home from defending our great nation. There is nothing that awaited their return. It is important they know that their loved ones will always hold a special place in history and the hearts of us here in Hillsborough and in the United States. On Monday, we ask everyone to observe a moment of silence at 3 p.m. As a remembrance of our fallen heroes, we will lower our flags. In August, we need this flag to represent our sorrow and respect. Please take notice on our center flagpole, we have added this red flag, the Killed in Action flag, in their remembrance. At this time, it is my distinct honor to introduce our 2018 Grand Marshal, Hillsborough resident and Air Force veteran, Tim Coyle. Veteran Tim Coyle served from October 1966 through October 1970 during the Vietnam conflict at Kadena Air Force Base in Okinawa, Japan, as a fuel specialist. He began his military career as an airman and worked his way up to sergeant in rank after four years. It is our honor to have you here today, and he will now share his thoughts, what this means to him today. At this time, I'm going to keep this real short. I realize it's really hot. I want to welcome all the distinguished guests that we have. I want to honor and recognize my fellow firefighters that I've served with for 25 years. Hillsborough Police Department has keeps us safe. Thank you for your service and a round of applause for them too. 
veterans. Whether from the Golden Gates of San Francisco, or the sandy shores of Seaside Heights, or the big sky country in Montana, or the southern border of Browns Brownsville, Texas, or Tucson, Arizona, a freedom that has been protected by our, fighting, our young fighting men and women. And in recent years, some not so young folks have been called into service of our country. I have a member of my veterans group. I won't mention his name, but his, his initials are AF. Is he talking? When he was called back into service, I tell you he wasn't studying for his driver's license. But like so many of our dedicated military, he took it upon himself to faithfully and to his fullest to serve. At this time, I have to thank my parents or my lucky star for being born in the greatest country of the world, the good old USA. Then, in a time of crisis, so many of us have left the comfort of our homes to become the protectors of this freedom. But unfortunately, some never return to trade in the title for veteran. And let us not forget, there are more than 82,000 military personnel missing in action from every conflict since World War II. We will never forget them. We will never stop looking for them to bring them home to their final resting place. Now I would like to take a moment to acknowledge anyone that has lost a loved one in the line of duty to this country. It doesn't matter how much time has passed. No, no words of condolence can ever begin to adequately console a survivor's grief. And while the grief may change over throughout the years, it will never be forgotten. John F. Kennedy, our 35th president, a Navy veteran World War II and Purple Heart re recipient said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget the highest appreciation is not to utter the words, but to live by them. There is no more of a relevant time to embrace this quote than on Memorial Day. Kennedy further said, I would ask you to leave here, here and go about your recent and your rest of your day to keep the fallen in your mind, their families in your hearts. For it is the immense collection of sacrifice that have helped us keep this country safe and free. And I add, as long as we continue to honor them with our actions and remember their sacrifices, they will never, ever, ever be forgotten. And just remember that the last day in May represents what it represents besides picnics, barbecue, and the kickoff to summer, and the nauseating car ads that we see about the Memorial Day sales. sales. I'm sick of them, but you know, that's what sells. But it's about the people that gave all, and they gave the sacrifice to this nation. Dwight D. Eisenhower, our 34th president, for a five-star general of World War II, said it the best. Home of the free because of the brave. God bless you all. Thank you for your ears. Thank you for your heart. Thank you for your time. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Once again, thank you so much, Tim, for being our Grand Marshal today. We're honored to have you. Thank you to all the veterans, honored guests, and other members of the Township Committee and all of those who participated in the parade today. 
all of those on the Garden of Honor, and of course, all, the, all of those who have worked diligently behind the scenes today to make this day a success once again. Thank you, everybody. I thank our residents, family and friends, and members of our community for being here today and joining us in our Memorial Day commemoration. God bless the USA. Be safe. Thank a veteran. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Veteran Tim Coyle. My pleasure. At this time, we will conduct the wreath laying ceremony, honoring those who have fallen in battle. As we call the names of your organizations, please come forward to the Garden of Honor and stand before your wreath and remain there until all organizations have been recognized. Hillsborough Township Police Department. Flagtown Fire Company, number 36. Route 206 Fire Company, number 37. Woods Road Fire Company, number 38. Nishanik Fire Company, number 48. Hillsborough's Veterans Committee. Hillsborough Republicans, Hillsborough Democrats, Hillsborough Senior Chapter A. Hillsboro Senior Chapter is the At this time, I would like to introduce Hillsboro High School Chorale member Julian Cazzolino, who will perform Amazing Grace.
Next, I'm pleased to introduce members of the Police Honor Guard who will provide the traditional single volley. It is my pleasure to introduce two members of the Hillsborough Police Honor Guard, Officer Ted Lewis and Officer Dave Brown. <laughs> Officer Chris Kennedy and Officer Richard Yacht. And now, Hillsborough High School band member Stephen Mandora will perform taps. Thank you, Stephen. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for our singer, Julian and Stephen, for being with us this morning. I did want to make note that the Women, Women's Club of Hillsborough is a network of active women promoting and improving our community through good fellowship by education and social studies. They did set up some pinwheels here for us. Uh, please feel free, once we are done, uh, to take one with you. At this time, it is about high noon, and as tradition, I'm going to ask our Grand Marshal to lower the colors and then to raise them. Thank you, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program from this morning. Thank you very much for coming out to be with us this morning. Have a great weekend. Experience Hillsborough, New Jersey, and the good life within a community rich in history and one of the best places to live in America. In Hillsboro, you can go on an adventure, enjoy a sweet treat, a tasty lunch, a fabulous dinner, and see a great play. While in town, 
visit any of our specialty shops. Absorb our picturesque scenery or relax in any of our many parks. Join us for annual Hillsboro celebrations, fabulous parades, and the famous Hillsboro Rotary Fair. All part of the good life in Hillsboro, New Jersey. See more at hillsboroughbusiness.org.